Okay, so I'm guessing this is as good a place as any to pick up. Uh, welcome back to Darksiders 3. In this video, we're going to be continuing on. Uh, I know it's been a while. It's just, you know, there has been kind of a lot of games that have come out lately. Smash Ultimate. I'm streaming Dark Souls 2. Dark Souls 3, I'm playing. Neo, I'm trying to finish. This game, yeah, it's been, it's been a lot. So that's why certain games have been infrequent. Even though I really want to play this game because I'm liking it a lot. Second thing, you might be noticing we're not exactly starting off where I last left off. The reason for that is because I started recording and I made the classic mistake of not starting my audio. Or more like not turning off my mic. Oh, could you be more aggressive? He's just blocking everything. And, again, uh, I was like, maybe I should restart, but then I realized that, technically, I didn't even make that much progress, so I was like, whatever, you can... I'll just kind of fill you in in the way. Third thing, final thing, if you watched my Smash video from yesterday, you'll know that I have a cold, unfortunately. So yeah, that's not fun. And the last thing, I discovered that there's this little hidden area here. Um, with treasure. Demonic artifact. Cool. These enemies pop out, but I think they're bitches and I'm just gonna ignore them. Fuck them. Uh, okay, I was worried for a second. Damn, what the hell? So yeah, now we come to the subject of this big fuck you monster. Uh, I was stuck on this guy the last time around, but... I've killed him since then, obviously. Uh, I'm gonna demonstrate, just for you, what to do. Not what to do, but you know. Oh, you can do a counter with that. I was gonna say, can you do a counter with your other weapon? Oh, look at those sick counters. That's an Astroth move, I swear. Thought it was gonna blow. And not blow like that. It's a shitty joke. But instead like that. So that's how you fight that thing. It is actually less difficult than I thought it would be. I thought I was initially... It was initially, not I was. Um, so yeah, then we came into here. Just again, recapping my... Uh, previous adventures which were lost in the ether kill some skellies we had some banter with the watcher and you know just the usual stuff the usual dark siders 3 shit and here we have this dude nothing special but he does drop a healing item Pretty much guaranteed, I think. I've gotten a healing item from him every single time. Did I mention that I have a cold? I think I did. Again. I think out of... All the diseases you could have as a YouTuber, I mean... Like colds, flus, all that. I think just the common cold is probably the worst. Because... Your ass is just like... Straight up... Unable to talk. Because... You know... About half an hour before this, I sounded like I had a fucking uh, wine cork up my nose, both my nostrils, and I managed to sufficiently self-medicate to the point where I'm sounding okay. Anyways, there was a little puzzle here. You had to use your fury form there, and then it gave you enough delay to hit both switches. Now, one thing I'm going to go ahead and do before we move on something I'm not looking forward to moving on to. Um, it's just that I'm not missing anything here. And that is actually the correct way to go forward. Because there is an enemy who is giving me a little bit of trouble. And by how difficult it is, either they really want to, like, you know, test you in this place, 
or that's straight up just like an optional while I'm about to be killed by the standard skelly. But, um, yeah, what was I saying? Oh, yeah, so either they really want to test you or it is optional and... You know, I don't know at this point. I don't know. If it's not optional, again, they are really, really pushing the difficulty up to 11. No, it's not. There's another path that I completely missed. There is, again, an asshole enemy called Fire Fury or whatever. Fire Warden. Um, fuck that enemy. He's, like, insanely difficult. Yep, just trying to kill. She just, she just she's like constantly talking shit. And I forgot this fire form does not make you invincible. Only the fury form does. I'm getting sniped, so. Oh, nice. Too. Was that the counter move for this weapon? Is that what that was? Man, this is a lot easier. That boss was surprisingly difficult. Like, I was like. If they're pushing that as not optional, <clears throat> I'm gonna be pissed. And I was correct. I don't know why I did that. I swear that that's a move that fucking Fox has from Smash Ultimate, doesn't he? There's another sniper. Another sniper. Okay, we could go there. I think that's the only place we can go. We got the various suit on. Very useful. Man, I want to play some Super Metroid. I do have Super Metroid, what am I talking about? I got the Nintendo SNES Mini, so... You know... Oh, this is how it is. Cool. What would you ask of this humble merchant? Before we ask anything from you, we're gonna go into some menu digging. Because the boy is a little bit confused at this point. Uh, yeah. There we go. We're also gonna visit Old Thane, because, you know, you gotta. But for sure, we're gonna, we're gonna yes, pump up. We're gonna pump up this level. Get an attribute point and let's see what the hole has in store for us. We're gonna go to the forge because I picked up some demonic artifact. Wait, hold on. That was in this video, right? I'm not stupid. I don't think I'm stupid. Well, I'm pretty stupid, but you know. Just as a side note, man, I cannot believe I managed to get myself into this usable of a state. Because I swear, again, legit, half an hour before I was sounding like this. Completely unable to talk. Man, these... Otrevin. That's what I'm sponsored by. They're nasal drops and they hooked the boy up for sure. Um, with an unplugged nose, that's what they hooked me up with. Uh, so yeah, shout out to them. Alright, old Thane. This dude, this fool has the flattest head. So, we can... Uh, chain of... See, this is the thing. The thang. Oh wait, that's adamantine. Still have no fucking idea how this works. Um, because I had a demonic artifact. Which says something like... Cloaked in darkness, the artifacts emit a faint scream of cursed souls. Can be used to augment a weapon enhancement. Old Thane should be able to make use of it. But how though? Because... Can I upgrade enhancements? So unless I'm really... 
Maybe it's something you can only do later. Is that what this is? Oh, you need more. I only have one. Jesus. Alright, cool. Never mind. Never mind. Not paying attention to the numbers. That's kind of my story. I've always been shit at math. Then we're gonna ask more of this humble merchant. Got this mutual feeder receiver relationship. I actually don't know what the other half of that is called. That is some weird shit. I don't know if you've ever seen a documentary about that. That's the one, right? Yeah. Like, there are these, like, insanely fat people. And I mean, like, the holy shit type fat. And they're in this relationship with a person called a quote-unquote feeder who basically gets pleasure from feeding them and making them even fatter. It's kind of weird. You ever play that game on PS3 called Fat Princess? It's basically that, but real life. IRL Fat Princess. Naisu? Naisu. Okay. There's gonna be some puzzle. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Can I use this sword? Sick, you can use the sword. Doesn't look very good, but... Put that sword in there. They're literally weapons. What the fuck are you talking about? Yeah, this didn't exactly take too much to figure out. Now, though, since I have nothing to lose, no souls, no nothing, I can go ahead and try this difficult as fuck boss. Um, because way back, I almost missed that. Oh, hello. Eat shit. Thought that was another exploding enemy. I was like, you cannot be serious. Yeah, this is a lot closer to this thing. I mean, and, and again, this dude is difficult as fuck. You'll see when we fight him. <clears throat> Basically. Oh my shit, is still here. Ouch. You basically gotta get counters. That's why I would have been a little bit weirded out, honestly, if this guy was mandatory, because... Really, the fire shouldn't be working on him, but as you can see, look at all that damage. This is probably the best I've done. Uh, we'll give him one more try, because again, I literally have very few souls to lose. And then we'll move on. Because I don't want to waste Fury form, or whatever form that is called. You know. All right. Loading times. We got those. I'm gonna run past everyone. Enemies don't have big aggro ranges, as I found out. So, we have nothing to worry about. <coughs> God damn. As soon as I say I'm okay, start coughing like crazy. And as soon as I start speaking about the aggro range of enemies, 
All these motherfuckers follow me. Yeah, okay, that's not gonna work. That is not gonna work. Fuck this boss. Uh, we're going. Oh, I didn't use my two points. Maybe that's gonna make the difference. I doubt, but maybe it is. <coughs> I'm gonna sound lovely on the mic. Apologize in advance. But, you know, what can you do? God damn, this game does load a lot. Alright. As I was saying, we can go or gore. Yeah, we're gonna... I like my physical damage, I'm gonna be honest with you. Arcane, I'm gonna... Not gonna ignore, but... It's lower on the priority list. If I'm gonna be real. Puzzle? So, three swords total. So it seems. It's always three, isn't it? It always is. Three keys, three stones, three swords. Rather predictable, don't you think? She's Have always you pissed. Lost your mind? No. I just hate it when the creator takes shortcuts. She is always pissed, ain't she? Get parried on. Get whatever this attack is called. Get Benjen Starked on. What the hell? I got annihilated. To be fair, I wasn't watching my HP really. <clears throat> I'm glad I didn't lose so much of the recording to miss that three keys speech. Because that was kind of badass. I still don't know why people shit on this game so much. Especially critics. Like, the reception for this game has been way more negative than I thought it would be. I mean, as soon as I saw this game, I thought that it was not going to get the highest review scores. I thought maybe in the, you know, 7 to 8 ballpark, but... God damn, like... People really went hard on this game. Look at... Are you... actually fucking kidding me? Is that just straight up an insta-kill? That is some Neo shit. Alright, I don't know if this is actually a path we have to take, but damn, you really gotta be on point with your dodges, seriously just straight up takes all your HP, alright, alright, I see what you're doing game, I see what you're doing. I'm being followed. Thank you, frame rate, for cooperating. This is just some like insanely powerful attack that they do. Are you still alive? Cool. Cool story, bruh. Guess you don't need to do that technically. I'm gonna heal. Now I'm like super scared of these guys. The ones that are emitting wave smoke. Oh. I guess that could work. Nice. This for sure is gonna lead to one of these bitch ass swords. I can already tell. 
Or maybe it doesn't. No treasure either. It's kind of lame. I'm gonna take it out on these skeletons. Exactly. We should do that. That is the thing. We did do that, but... So that's what you gotta be careful of. Ground pound or something. Deals an insane amount of damage for some reason. Alright. These guys are for sure less threatening. And I really should dodge over that, shouldn't it? As in... How she jumps into the air, it really should count as... You being in the air. You know what I mean. Alright. Looks like... That's one of those things. That's the last thing I want to fight. Um, we're going up the elevator. Or down. Or through. I'm just gonna... Keep it held down. Good thing she's heavy enough. She's not heavy, she's thick. You know. To be able to hold that switch. I don't know why I did that. Just felt like pressing the attack button. I don't like when the game is giving me this many healing shards. This is... This feels either puzzle-ish or boss encounter-ish. Nevertheless... Oh. I don't have as many as I thought I would. Um... Okay. It's not a boss encounter. Giant enemy gauntlet. Is that what this is? Getting all my Nephilim whatever is back. Or are they just gonna keep spawning endlessly and... There's something you have to do. Because they would do that, wouldn't they? Nice, so Probably not. Don't know what I countered there, but it worked. These dudes with their blocking. Annoying. Nice. We got a demonic artifact. Sick. Eat shit. We're gonna use one of those straight up. Now we have enough to upgrade. <clears throat> We're gonna do some hardcore running action here. Fuck, that is slow. Look at them tatas. No breast physics on that. She got too much armor. Not like Tomb Raider, you know. Or Dead or Alive. Man, they're coming out with a new Dead or Alive. That shit is gonna be crazy. Never even break a sweat against skeletons. Preach it. And not to mention Soul Calibur, like the tit physics in Soul Calibur are absolutely insane. Is anything gonna open or do I have to Ah uh, serious? Oh, Fuck. Do excuse me for being blind. Never mind. We got this cool sword. Unfortunately, you do not get War's moveset with it. So... It's kind of a shame. 
I almost want to try it out. But I feel like it's going to end up in me getting killed. Alright. There's one. Don't know if I have time for the other five minutes. We'll see. There it is. So I kind of want to go down and fight this thing. The big fuck you monster. Oh, I really, really thought I had that locked down. I kind of did. Alright, Astaroth. This is such an Astaroth move. Oh shit, get out. Ugh. I never like catch it when he's doing that. Alright, note to self, you cannot dodge out of that. Shit. Cool. For that we get Luminous Visage. Shatter to gain attribute points? Hell yeah. Take some attribute points any day. What the hell? Oh. Watch this. This thing is gonna get... Hardcore countered. So, we need to pop whatever the hell that thing is. Luminous Visage. Straight up attribute points. Didn't give me any. This game is stoned. It said shatter to gain attribute points, like not like feed it to Volgrim or something. I didn't... I didn't pull a... Firekeeper Soul, did I? When in Dark Souls 1, my very first playthrough, I popped a uh, Firekeeper Soul. Thinking that you had to use it to, um, you know, increase your Estus, whatever. Estus power. I learned very quickly that's not the case. To be fair, I should have read the instructions more carefully. Uh,. The question is, do we want a gauntlet or do we not? I'm guessing this is going to be another enemy gauntlet. Or maybe we're going to do some pl puzzle platforming. Which looks like we are. But first, we got some stupid skeletons to kill. Cool. So I'm assuming this is not gonna do jack shit. No, it's not. This one looks kinda... Well, not complicated, but... Let me just figure this out, so... Because these you can break with your fire or whatever. Which... Doesn't seem to do much. I'm guessing you have to break all three of these by... Going up and destroying that one. And then coming down and... Using the little explodey monster. Then what do you do with the third? That's the question. You get my logic here, right? Don't worry, there is logic here. Then the question is, what is that even going to do? You 
know, what else can you do but try it? Oh shit. Because this... Yeah, it links to that. Uh-huh. Okay, that's part number one. The only question is where do I throw this thing? Unless... There's something in there. Which there is. This is the only one that I've not destroyed yet. Okay. Oh shit. I see. I see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got you. I got you. So, base. Wait, hold on a second, though. Because that thing. Those things explode really quickly. And. This one goes back kind of quickly, too. But it goes. Comes forward insanely slow. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. See, my logic would be that if someone need to trigger the switch, damn. Okay, this is going to be a head stumper. Uh, I'm kind of lost here, and I'm kind of out of time. I'm going to go ahead and wrap it up here. There's also this door, which I don't know, man. I'm going to go ahead and wrap it up here. Thank you guys very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this episode of Darksiders 3, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.